Today, I'm going to tell you a little story about how and why owners of the System76 Lemur Pro laptop got a 15% performance boost practically overnight. And it's also a story about why I love small, nimble companies that make Linux hardware. Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone and welcome home. I wanna start this video by saying thank you to my 13,000 subscribers. We've, we've had like a 30% subscriber increase in five days and I'm absolutely blown away by that. So right now I have three ultralight laptops in the office from Slimbook, from System76 and from Tuxedo Computers. All three of these laptops have roughly the same price point, roughly the same design, and identical Intel Core i7 CPUs. So over the weekend, I was running what I thought would be a final benchmark suite across all these laptops. I used the Pharonix Test Suite, which is a wonderful tool that's built by Michael Larabelle over at uh, pharonix.com. It's multi-platform, it's got hundreds of benchmarks, and you can test pretty much any scenario, any component that's in your PC. Now, if you choose to upload these results to openbenchmarking.org, they become publicly available. And one of the great things about Pharonix Test Suite is that you can go into your results, click a few of them, and then compare. And you'll get like normalized results, you'll get uh, wins and losses charts, you'll get a direct comparison and graphs and pie charts and all kinds of cool stuff. So the tests that I decided to perform across all of these laptops were very CPU specific. So stuff like GIMP, stuff like Blender, and stuff like timed Linux kernel compilation. And in so-called normal performance profiles, that's, you know, with Pop! OS, it's where you toggle the balanced mode. Or in the case of the Slimbook Pro X, you use the uh, Slimbook battery app to select balanced mode. So all of those results were pretty close. But then I switched on high performance mode across all these laptops and the Lemur Pro was coming in last. Not a huge difference, mind you, but consistently last place. System76 engineer Jeremy Soler noticed these results and he messaged me on Twitter and said, hey, I'm gonna run some tests uh, and get right back to you. And I'm gonna assume that those tweaks he was playing with were things like uh, CPU frequency and high performance mode and some firmware related changes to fan curves. And in probably less than 24 hours, Jeremy got back to me and said, hey, I talked to Carl, our CEO, and we're gonna make performance mode more aggressive. There'll be an update on Tuesday. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, I can't wait to retest everything. And sure enough, on Tuesday morning, the Lemur Pro popped up with an update notification. So I reran all those benchmarks. I noticed a 15% performance boost, basically for free, basically that I hadn't counted on. I was perfectly happy with the Lemur Pro, you know, great battery life, great screen, great build quality. Now System76, within 72 hours, System76 was delivering an update that gave all of its new Lemur Pro owners and future Lemur Pro owners a 15% performance boost for free. So let's say just for conversation's sake, I am rendering Blender animations once a day for clients. Maybe it's a business, maybe it's just something that I'm pursuing as a hobby, it doesn't matter. And let's say those Blender renders take about an hour each day. System76 just shaved off nine minutes from that render time and if we expand that over a month, and I'm only doing one of these a day, then they saved me about four and a half hours. Time that I get to reclaim time, which is a valuable resource. Now, I understand that the argument can be made that, well, maybe that's what the high performance mode should have been kicking out in the first place. But the real point of this story is how nimble and how flexible and how receptive a small Linux hardware company like System76, and I'm sure the others like Slimbook and Tuxedo can be, and they listen to the community. They see what's happening and they react. And I absolutely love that. And it's not the only example of System76 doing something like this either. Yeah, I think when third generation Ryzen CPUs came out, you might remember they were not booting on the majority of Linux kernels. AMD was notified of the issue. They in turn reached out to all their motherboard manufacturers and started working on a BIOS update. But within about 48 hours, System76 had completely fixed the problem on their hardware and on Pop! OS. That's why I'm always coming back to you and telling you 
System76 rocks, and this is why. They don't sponsor the channel. I don't have best friends at that company, although they they seem like a lot of really cool people. It's just something that cannot be replicated on a larger mainstream scale, like with these huge OEMs. That's my story. I was thrilled that I woke up one morning and got 15% more performance. And that might benefit you much more than it would benefit me. But in the end, it's just another reason that I love Linux and the ecosystem around it and the community and the people that are pouring their heart and soul and their hours and their money into giving us a better experience. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks a ton for watching. And until we meet again, take care. And especially right now, take care of each other.